So let's think about that idea of returning a value for a second. We don't always have to. Now, the idea is when we're working with a method, we have to specify some type of return statement. So let's think about the uh, distance formula for a second. The distance formula, just so you don't have to go on the internet and look it up, was x1, well, x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So how would I design that out inside of a method? How would I recreate this as a method? Well, first thing I would do is I'd start with that public static access, uh, the access modifier that I need, but then I need to specify my return type. What am I going to be returning? Well, if you kind of noticed what we had been returning when we were designing out this method, uh, we were getting back a lot of decimal places. Decimal places. And so, this is going to probably, if it's going to use decimals, then I probably want to kind of factor that into what uh, this is going to return. So I'd probably just return something like a double. Now, what that means is I, I suddenly have access. I know what it's going to be. I can work with that. Now, what do I want to call it? Well, you know, if we think about it, what's that method called again? You know, what is this formula? What is this guy going to be? What is this formula? Well, it's the distance formula. Well, distance formula, all right, well, why don't we just call it distance? You know, it's actually a pretty good name. It's pretty unique. And then inside there, I have to give it some parameters. Now, I don't have a, enough space in here, just due to my writing, but what would I want to start to put in here? Well, you know, I'm going to need an x2, I'm going to need an x1, I'm going to need a y2, and I'm going to need a y1. So I need to kind of build them out. So again, I don't have too much space, so I'll just say double x1, x1, there we are, double y1, double x2, double y.